Good afternoon from Point Orlando, which is out on International Drive, a heavy tourist spot here in Orlando. A couple of friends of mine asked me if we wanted to come out to dinner at Maggiano's Little Italy, so we're definitely gonna be eating there tonight. But I wanted to have a look around and see what kind of other stuff is around Maggiano's. Point Orlando is an entertainment complex, so there should be some interesting things to see there. Let's go have a look around. This right here is International Drive. The Icon, or like the big Ferris wheel is down there, as well as the Star Flyer, which we have videos of, and we'll put some links in the description down below. And then down in this direction is the Orange County Convention Center. And this is Maggiano's right here. Also, right next to us is Wonderworks, which we've been to many a times, and we'll put some links to that in the description down below. A lot of fun stuff to do down here on iDrive. Oh, I know that it's a weekday, but it seems like it's a lot more uh, dead than I thought it was going to be. Looks like they're building a new Brazilian steakhouse over here. And then there's just like nothing, nobody else here. What is this? What's going on? They're like doing some air conditioning work here. I guess maybe they, this store closed and they're probably going to repurpose it to something else maybe? It used to be called Charming Charlie. I'm gonna go upstairs, see what's upstairs. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's much going on over here. What is this? It's like a solar panel on this bench? What? What, what is this? Oh, they're little USB plugs. I thought that that was like an air vent. Wow. It's a pretty hefty solar panel for a couple of USB plugs. Here's Lafayette's. I believe that this is a Cajun restaurant. Let's go look at the menu. Man, there's one place that I've never wanted to go more in my life than Slider Town. We're going to Slider Town. It looks okay, right? We'll have to come down here and try some more of these restaurants one day. Because who knows, maybe they're good. There's nobody in there right now. Fatfish Blue. I feel like this place would be hopping on like a Friday, Saturday night. Maybe that's what this is. Maybe it's all more about the nightclub feeling than like a general daytime hangout. There's like six other people here with me right now. Oh no, I think this was Adobe Gila's. That was like a staple in Orlando. What's happening? Maybe they're just remodeling it, not tearing it down. But why would they take down the sign then? <gasps> oh no. All right, I got the skinny. I was uh, talking with somebody that, like a worker that came out of here and they said that Friday and Saturday nights are where it's at. They have a jazz trio that plays in here. Wednesday through Friday, they've got a cigar and coffee bar outside where they have hand rolled cigars and Cuban coffee. And then just like a bunch of different bands everywhere. They said they have a jazz trio. Did I already say that? They have a jazz trio Friday and Saturday nights here. BB Kings has live music. Lafayette's has live music. So definitely Friday and Saturdays are where it's at. But during the week, it's a little bit slow out here. Here's a Taverna Opa. They've been around for a while. They always like throw the napkins up in the air and smash plates and stuff like that. I talked to them about what Adobe Gila's is gonna be too. They said that that will be a barbecue restaurant. And they said that they're also getting ready to do a lot of renovations around Point Orlando, which should be interesting. This is BB King's Blues Club. I like all of their different art on the outside. And I'm, we'll have to come back and try this fried chicken. That sounds delicious. But definitely the two biggest draws in all of Point Orlando. Regal Cinemas right here. This is an IMAX. And they also have 4DX, which is like the motion theater. And then Main Event Entertainment is just like a giant arcade. Like we did with Dave & Buster's, but a different brand. As I was walking by Main Event, I also noticed it's a bowling alley too. Is that all it is? No, I think it's... I gotta look this up. I thought it was just... A, let me go inside. All right, after looking at it a little bit more, now that we're inside, their motto is Eat, Play, Bowl. So it's like restaurants and arcades and bowling. Whoa, look at this Ghostbusters game. Ghostbusters! Oh no, the Wizard of Oz coin pusher. Oh no, my mortal enemy. Oh, oh there's also a ropes course up here. I kind of feel like stuff is in better shape than it was at Dave & Buster's. This game at Dave & Buster's was all busted. Looks pretty good here. Oh, and the bowling alley looks super fun. Like cosmic bowling. All kinds of different colors and flashing lights. Oh man, this definitely makes me want to play some video games. This looks super fun. You have to like bounce a ping pong ball as far as you can. I really, really, really want this Superman plush. His face is amazing. There's definitely some interesting stuff here. Lotus Asia House, Cuba Libre, The Pub Orlando. I kind of want to see what they have on the menu at The Pub Orlando. All right, let's see what they've got here at The Pub. Shepherd's Pie, Bangers and Mash. Okay, pub spring rolls. Is that a normal thing? Brilliant burgers. What else? Does anything sound familiar to you guys? Buffalo chicken, curry chicken. A royal couple. Oh, like soup and salad, okay. Huh. 
It sounds like kind of an Americanized version of British stuff. Ooh, the ocean air. I like the way that sounds. The ocean air. Reminds me of like a cruise liner for, for fish. And then the Capitol Grill over here. I think Capitol Grill is supposed to be fancy. Let's see if we can see the menu for Capitol Grill. We'll start off with the menu at the ocean air. Uh, I don't know. Oh, grilled filet. Okay, but it comes with shrimp too? Can I get something without? Oh, there we go. Yeah, just like steak right here. Perfect. All right. Doesn't seem too bad. Seems about in line with theme park pricing. All right, let's see if we can find a menu for the Capitol Grill. They got some lions outside. But I'm not seeing any menus. Huh. Smells like a burger place. Is it a burger place? All right, I found out that it's kind of a fancy steakhouse. We'll have to come out here and try some of these restaurants one day. Like for lunch or something like that? Like there's nobody here. Be perfect. As I was passing by the ocean air, I noticed that uh, the business hours are from 5 until 10 most days. Most days they open at 5, so might not be able to get lunch there. Ooh, it looks like they're going to be opening up a place here called the Hampton Social that was established in 2015. Where was it established in 2015? All right, let's see what they got for brunch. You got a bowl full of bones. This looks like Eggs Benedict. Some French toast. Uh, that? I don't know what that is. And then this is like avocado toast. Looks kind of good. What is this? It's like honey. It's not what you use that for. Honey lemonade or something? Oh, and like rosé. So Point Orlando is actually getting ready to go through a huge renovation. And by the end of 2020, it will be done. It'll look completely different. It'll have these like shaded areas. It's like a fire pit there and new finishes on the building. So BB Kings will look a little bit more like modern. Should be interesting. It looks fancier for sure. Oh, I found it. There's a place here called Marlowe's Tavern. And they've got a sign out here that says open daily at 11.30. We can get lunch here. Oh, there's a there's a blue martini here. And there used to be a blue martini at the Mall Millennia. I don't think it's there anymore. I think they moved to here. And then we've got Hop Daddy Burger Bar. That sounds interesting. I got to look at the menu for this one. All right, let's see what Hop Daddy has to offer. Ooh, Parmesan truffle fries sounds so good. Hot honey and sage fries. That sounds good too. What else? Oh, the classic. Okay. Okay. This this seems like it would be pretty good. This is my speed. The prime time. Grass fed American Kobe beef. Ooh, Thunderbird. Oh, it's a chicken patty. Fresh ground chicken patty. Eh, I feel like that would be a little bit dry. Bacon jam double. Man. All right. Yes. We should eat here one day for sure. Oh, and they have veggie stuff too. Nice. Okay, so down there was Capitol Grill, the fancy steak place. And then right across the street, Del Frisco's, another fancy steak place. Lots of fancy steak place competition down here. Just like this Brazilian steakhouse is gonna be exactly like the other Brazilian steakhouse that is down the street. A lot of competition on I Drive, except for Pizza Hut. That's the only Pizza Hut. All right, it's time for dinner. Let's head to Maggiano's Little Italy. So we just walked in, and I wanted to show you guys this hallway because I went to the bathroom, which the bathrooms are right here. But there's just like a hallway of banquet rooms. Look at this. They all close off, and they do like connect too, so you can have one giant banquet room. There's a bar in there. This is intense. This restaurant is set up for a lot of people. Here's a quick look around at my side of the dining room. There's more dining room back behind me, but there's nobody over here. So I want to show you guys the setup. All right, let's have a look at this menu here. What are we going to get? Ooh, mozzarella marinara. Sounds interesting. We got steak and veal. Get a nice steak here, a nice filet. Some veal, a veal porterhouse, oh my. Salads. Garlic potatoes, that sounds good. And then there's like a secret menu inside of the other menu. Ooh, look at that. Oh look, you can do like a first course. Okay. Choose two. Well, this is interesting. And then apparently, if you order anything from the classic section, you get to take home the same thing to make or anything else from the classic section to take home and make, like make it later, like pre-packaged. That sounds amazing. Oh, and then I flipped over the menu and I found more food. I might get that chicken Parmesan. Sounds pretty darn good. Linguine and clams. 
I'm just gonna say random things. Salmon, lemon, and herb. Where's the desserts? That's what I wanna see. Steak and ravioli, ooh. And garlic bread, just garlic bread, that's it. That's your whole meal is garlic bread. I got some crispy pepperoni risotto bites, which look awesome. Nice marinara to dip them in. Oh, there's a look at the inside. That looks good, it smells like a little pizza. I haven't tried one yet because they were very, very hot. I think that this was called Maggiano's Famous Rigatoni D. And it's got mushrooms and chicken in it, and rigatoni. It's pretty good. It's kind of healthy. I don't know, this is something that I wouldn't normally order, but I was trying to be adventurous today. All right, I think I'm gonna take the rest of mine home, but that's not stopping me from looking at the dessert menu. Ooh, yeah. Double chocolate brownie. Wow. I'm kind of like leaning towards this double chocolate brownie. That sounds so good. I like that they put the calories there to make me feel bad. There it is. There's my double chocolate brownie. That looks awesome. And look at these fresh strawberries back here too. There's like flakes of chocolate on there. Wow. So I'm all done at Maggiano's. Wow, that was a lot of food. And it was good. Those risotto balls, delicious. They taste like little like pizza hot pockets almost because they had the pepperoni in them. The cheese, the risotto fried up with a little bit of marinara sauce. Had a really good flavor to it, but it did kind of, it just tasted like pizza, like pepperoni pizza. Um, my pasta dish that I had, rigatoni, it was called like uh, rigatoni D. I don't know what that stood for. It was good. It did have, it was kind of like oily, but it was very like, creamy and the chicken was cooked well it wasn't dry the mushrooms were so good in it i don't know what kind of mushrooms those were but they were delicious and then the pasta was just pasta i don't normally like pasta and in this instance i didn't really like the actual noodles themselves they're not my favorite thing i'm glad it wasn't like a spaghetti or something like that it was the i guess that's the rigatoni right uh it was good i would order that again the dessert that brownie was amazing such a good like the dessert very rich uh the the it was like a homemade vanilla ice cream fresh strawberries on there shaved chocolate on top like chocolate chunks on top super dense and super fudgy and it was warm too and it was good also fantastic deal because i ordered the rigatoni and they said that at most maggianos because this is a destination maggiano they don't advertise that they do this like buy one get one type thing but at most Maggiano's that menu that I showed you guys where they have the classics and then the specialties if you order something off that menu you get to take one of these six classics home so I ordered the rigatoni D and I'm taking home some spaghetti and meatballs for Jen that's a great deal and that was totally like the free spaghetti and meatballs so I don't know I would recommend coming out here to do Maggiano's and also point Orlando Seems like it would be a lot of fun on a Friday or Saturday night. Not a lot going on there today, during the day. And as you can see, there's like hardly anybody here right now because it's Tuesday night. And there's a lot of stuff to do on iDrive, but I think Point Orlando is going to be changing around a little bit here, getting a little bit better, looking a little bit better. But right now, it's a fantastic place to come and hang out. So, well, fantastic day. So with that being said, we are off. We'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm Haley. And I'm Kyle. And, and now, now it's time, time to pay, pay the, the price. price.